Good morning. Who's here? Oh, Toby's barking now because he heard me talking and I said, who's here? So, of course, naturally, he thinks I mean outside. <laughs> I'm snuck away into my craft room. So, I should probably set my iPad or something up so I can see Gina's here. Hi, I can see who's here because I can't tell. Um, I'm on my iPhone. So, how's everybody? Got, got your cup of tea? Oh, what Mandy made me? I haven't seen you for ages. It's nice to have you come in. Um, my back is much better, much better. I had an issue with the rotocuff thing. Hi everyone. Oh, Cecil Green's here. It's so fun. I get so many different people watching my lives based on because I'm sure you're all here for the cross stitch, based on, you know, what I'm doing. And I love it because it's get, I get this whole big community of people I get to talk to all the time. So today I'm going to be working on this one, which is one I'm doing for my son, Sean. This dog is the image of the one, one of the two dogs he used to have. He still has this dog. This, is, this looks just like Ellie. And this one is kind of similar, or I'm going to make it similar, to a dog that he had and just passed away. But she was the same color as Toby. So I'm going to change the colors, as you do with a cross stitch, to make it your own, as you do. I'm going to change the colors of this to make her black and tan. And I'm going to have to start thinking about what colors I want to use, because... I've almost finished Ellie. Isn't that lovely? <gasps> Look at those eyes. Oh. Um, I still have to do the other side yet of the door. The doors are super nice because the door and the door frame, all this, is only a half cross stitch. So it goes really quickly. And the only cross stitch itself is down the center of the two dogs. Now, so you can see what I mean. So I've done that side. I still have, no, I've done that side. I still have to do that side before I move down to the other dog. But she's, um, it's uh, the only thing with it. It's a lot of black and gray, which is fine, which is fine. But you're also doing a lot of mixed colors. So like this is two of the, this color and another gray put together. I know, isn't it lovely? I just, I really, I, look at the eye. Like, I can't get over the eye. Like, if you have, oh, I can't even show you a picture of Ellie because uh, if I have my iPad, I could, but I don't. Um, you'd see, she's the image of her. I'm not kidding. So, anyway. Um, so it's hard in, in some instances because it's a lot of mixing grays together. Like, um, there's one color I was going to do in a minute. And it's three colors together. So it's interesting, but it's... Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do it with the other dog yet. I don't know if I'll mix as many colors. I don't know. I'll have to figure it out. It's going to be interesting trying to work out what colors I'm going to use. So, and I'm also, I was thinking last night, I couldn't go to sleep last night. I could not go to sleep. Um, and I was, I had watched a video. Now, of course, I'm not going to remember the lady's name. MJ, hey, 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 how are you? <gasps> oh, I didn't see that. Um, oh dear. Oh, there it is. You didn't say you were having a live last night. No, I didn't say. Well, it's cross stitch. I didn't know if you'd like cross stitch. <laughs> um, Mandy said, DMZ ons is thicker thread, so get good coverage. Oh, okay. And then, 
I did my mom and dad's wedding photos and cross stitch and all grace. It's amazing how the details. Well, that's just it, right? It's how they, you meant dimensions. Okay, good, because I didn't have a clue what you meant then. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely interesting considering it's just gray and there's only, this is how many grays. There's not very many, this is the thread. Like there's not very many threads. There is one, these, there's two big ones because th those are the door, so they need a lot. But this is the, the dog colors. And um, like that's not a lot of gray, not, not a lot of different colors. So I'm gonna have to kind of try to figure out how to make them beiges and browns, those colors for the other dog. I'll get there. It'll just take me a while to think. <clears throat> but yeah, I couldn't sleep last night. And I've been watching this video of this lady, the something stitcher. Mm, I can't think of her name. I'm sorry. <laughs> when I replay this, I'll put the name. And I was watching her yesterday and, uh, she has got all these stands that she uses. Oh, Twilight Calm. I'll have to look that one up. Um, and I kept thinking, I have stands. I'm sure I have a stand. I think I have a lap stand. In fact, I thought I had two lap stands. And I know I've got the rods. Anyway, I did find one lap stand downstairs and it's got my Santa of the Forest, no, I finished Santa of the Forest, Song of Christmas on it, which I'll be getting back out in July to work on from July till December. So that's on there, but I thought I had a bunch of different size scroll frames. Do you think I can find them? No. So that kept me awake last night, trying to work out where they could be. So I'm gonna have a good old route around and look for them because I'm fed up. I don't like these frames. Like I like my work close. I like to hold it close or on a scroll. Um, but I'm fed up with the fabric getting all jammed up around me. What do you guys do? So I feel like I want to give it a good press and put it on a scroll frame. I'd have to buy one. Can see a Michael's visit coming. I couldn't sleep last night. I was going through, all kinds of things were going through my head last night. And then of course, usually I have to I fold my piece of paper up so much that I hold it with my thumb. Whereas if I had a scroll frame, I could put it on a stand beside me. I'm thinking. And then I hold it like this so I can see what I'm doing. Four. The only nice thing about this is because it is only so a few colors there's more like look at all that well i can't really show you this can i because it's a well i probably can who cares like there's a whole pile of that color now to do so i just sit back and work on that one it's not lots of you know colors Oh, what's this, a Morgan frame? Oh, come back here. Oh, I got my finger in the wrong spot. Sorry, I'm trying to read the words. She just bought a Morgan frame for one, two, three stitch. A Morgan frame. I've never heard of that. I'm writing that down right now. A Morgan frame. Here's my notepad. A Morgan frame. I'm going to look that up. Oh, I'm wobbling you. While I'm writing. Um, oh, I have to write on my, uh, this is my um, little card I made myself. Did you see this? I should put it in the group, shouldn't I? I'm sure you guys would all like it. So um, <clears throat> I started this cross stitch in August 29th, 2022. And that's the name of it. And then I had all the little boxes. So... That's when I started it, I guess, around that time. And anytime I stitched on it, I just circle 
the day. So that was 2022. And then I did no cross-stitching in 2023. Nothing. Don't ask me why. I don't know. So I made some new cards. And here's my 2024. So every time I stitch, I circle it. So today is April the... I don't even know. What day is it today? Okay, so the 6th was Tristan's birthday. We've had that. So it must be Friday the 12th. So now I know I, still, I did that. So the 12th, thanks. Thanks, MJ. Oh my gosh. MJ and I were at knitting last night. She's in my knit club. And uh, we. she was asking me a question about my new sock pattern. <laughs> And I said to her, I looked at her, her her thing and I said, how many stitches have you got on here? And she said, 72. I'm like, what? And then I thought, oh. I asked her to knit them for me for Bob. <laughs> so she's doing the 72 and she normally does 56 for me. So it completely threw me off. I'd forgotten I'd asked her. How do you forget you'd ask somebody something? I think I'm getting Alzheimer's. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me lately. And even the yarn was lovely. And I was like, oh, this is pretty. I dyed it for and gave it to her. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've got that much on my brain right now. And of course, I'm starting to have um, like panic attacks. Well, not panic attacks. Because I don't have panic attacks. <coughs> hey, Alice, how are you, hon? Um, I'm starting because I'm going to England in two weeks. And, uh, you know, it's, my mom would say, if she was still alive, my mom would say, time to hit the panic button. Because, you know, a week or two before, you got to start making sure you're wearing all the old clothes because you don't want to do the laundry a thousand times because you want to pack your good clothes. And you've got to make sure you've got all the stuff you need to take to people. And uh, anyway, she used to call it hit the panic button. And I think that's what I've, my panic button's well and truly pushed. I keep thinking about all the things I've got to do and got to take and all that stuff. So I've got to count where I am. Oh, I think I've done that wrong. I think I should have done two of them. Wait now. Uh, I should have. Well, I don't care. I'm still going to keep going. So that should have been a two. That one there. So I'm going to say I did that one. That one, the next one should be three. Okay, so this one, it's not supposed to be there. I've got to pull it out. Are you coming to Liverpool? Yes, I am. Yes, I am going to Liverpool. Um, it's my cousin's 70th birthday. Oh, I'm just going to pull it all out because I did this wrong. It's my cousin's 70th birthday. Okay, I have to see what you just said then. Whoops. Are they just saying hi to each other? Um, Alice and MJ are my test knitters. Even though Alice is in Winnipeg. And MJ lives down the road from me. Uh, yes, my cousin's 70th birthday. So I'm going home. I can't believe she's going to be 70. And... Um, So my dad is picking me up. My dad and my brother are going to pick me up from the airport. I think we fly into Heathrow. I fly into Heathrow. Bob's not coming. Apparently, he can't understand the accent very well. <laughs> so, oh, but he has to work, though. We can't uh, get the time off. And uh, he has a really hard time with one of my cousins when they're talking. He can't understand them. Yes, late afternoon there for you, yeah. Oh, that's right, because they're all saying good morning to each other. Yeah, it's 10 o'clock here. Um, now I've got a giant knot. There we go. Fixed it. I fixed it. Um, what was I saying? Yes, yeah, so I'm flying into Heathrow. 
And I know, I've tried, like, honest to God. I mean, we have to have subtitles every time we watch TV. And it's, uh, yeah, Scouse, you can't understand Scouse accent. You can understand some of the other ones, but for some reason you can't understand Scouse accent. <laughs> but my cousin is really, uh, has a really um, strong accent, so he does have a hard time with him. And he gets kind of lost in the whole sing-songy accent. And he's not really listening to what they're saying. And he gets confused. So I have to, you know, it's just easier if I go by myself. And I've got millions of cousins. And um, it's going to be very exciting. Because they're all going to be at my cousins. Who I'm staying with when I'm there. Um, <clears throat> for but I think I'm there for about five days in Liverpool. And then we're going back down south to where my dad is. Totally worse than Jamie Carragher. <laughs> worse than Jamie Carragher. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, uh, he, he uh, anyway, so we're going to stay there. I'm staying there with her. So it'll be fun because they'll all be popping in and out, in and out during the day. And we'll be going places. I'm sure my dad wants to take me to the Albert Dock and a bunch of stuff, you know, that we used to do. <clears throat> when we were kids probably take me back to see our old house i'm sure he'll do that so we'll it'll be fun and then we'll go down um down to oh and i'm gonna meet up with uh linda and her sister june from uh knit and stitch and knit knit and chat with linda and june uh linda simpson she used to be disley sisters i don't know she changes her name all the time uh, for the better but <laughs> I never can remember what we're calling her from one week to the next. So I'm going to meet up with her at Black Sheep Yarns in, I think that's Warrington. So we're going there and then I'll be going back down to where my dad lives now. He doesn't. It, it, um, and when I talk to my dad every Friday, so I'll be talking to him, actually not today because my brother works late. I'll talk to him tomorrow. Um, when I talk to my dad, after I've got off Skype with my dad and my brother, if Bob's not in the room, he'll say to me, what's your dad say? And I'll say, well, he was telling me about this fellow I lived down the road and you never believe what happened. And he'll say to me, no, Canadian. <laughs> and then I have to stop and I have to, okay, talk. I have to listen to him talk to me for a minute so I can get back to Canadian. But that's what happens. I talk faster. And I think I talk fast anyway. I know I talk a lot. Um, I talk faster when I use my accent. I don't know why. But, um, and actually next week, next Tuesday, check out the channel because you'll hear it for sure. Not saying why, but you'll hear it for sure. Next week on Tuesday. Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, I'm excited to go home, but there's lots of stuff I have to do and get ready for. And it, it kept me awake last night thinking about it. I should literally just write stuff down so that um, I can remember. Because like I said, it's her, my cousin's birthday, so I need to buy her a birthday present. Should I buy it here before I go? Should I get her something Canadian? Or should I get her something when I get there? Because... I get there on the Monday, Tuesday, and her birthday's the Saturday. So I've got a few days that I could go shopping. Um, my brother wants all kinds of stuff. When I first moved here, I was terrified people speaking to me because they didn't understand anyone. 30 years on, I think I have tuned in. <laughs> <laughs> I know. But could you understand them? I used to love the live events. Oh, so did I. That was such a good show. And you know, there was two other shows I love watching. So there's the live birds. I'd love to hear it. Well, watch Tuesday. <laughs> now watch next Tuesday. You'll hear it. Um, I used to love the live birds. That was a good one when I was a kid. That was when I was a kid. Then as I got into my late teens, I think bread. Who remembers bread? Well, if you remember that TV show called Bread, whenever the mum answered the phone, she had a penny on all the time and her phone was in the penny. But it was the old phones that you had to pull that aerial out. You know, it wasn't a cell phone. And uh, 
she always used to answer the phone. Hello, yes? That's what I do. When is my kids calling me? <laughs> or Bob. That's how I answer the phone. Only when it's my kids or it's Bob. I don't do it to anybody else. Do you remember Brad Mandy? Oh, I love that show so much. I was in love with the eldest son. I thought he was gorgeous. My husband worked down the road from the bread street. Oh, did he? Oh God, I used to love that show so much and the grandpa next door. <laughs> yeah, that was such a good show. And then of course, how could you forget the royal family? Not our actual royal family, but the other royal family, you know. And my favorite scene from that, because I think I've watched all of them, my favorite scene from that was when they're sitting on the couch and they're just all sitting there and it's like quiet. And they're like, she, the mom says, I'll get some bickies. And she goes out to the kitchen and she comes back in with some, a tin. And in the tin, it's not biscuits or cookies, as you would call them here. It's not biscuits like we would associate having a cup of tea and a biscuit with. It's the, the little bars that are wrapped in, individually wrapped like penguins in club bars. Do you remember them? Oh my God. And, I, and they're sitting there and they pick up the penguin bar, which I've not had one of them in years. I hope they still make them. And she unwraps it and, and they're sitting there and they start singing the theme tune for the penguin bar for the, um, the ad on the telly. Pick up a penguin. Oh my God. Anyway, I love those shows. They're so good. I don't think there are any more of them anymore, are there? I think that ended. And the guy that was the son. Oh, you had the same city. Oh, and you ate a mint club. Oh, I love mint clubs. Oh, orange clubs too. I love orange. Oh, and the fruit and nut ones. Do they still make clubs? I hope so. I hope, oh, I just unthreaded my needle. I got all excited talking about biscuits. Um, the guy that you used to play the son in the royal family, he is in Death in Paradise, I think. No, she died? Oh, well, she couldn't have been that old. Wow. Because she wrote it, didn't she? Her and her husband who was her husband in the TV show. But yeah, the, the son was, is Ralph Little and he uh, it was in Death in Paradise. In fact, I think he just left this last uh, episode. Um, it ended and he left the island. It's kind of funny when you see them grow up on the TV as a certain character and then, oh, she had cancer. Mm. Yeah, so one, two, three, four. Um, I'm back to where I was now after I made my error. Oh, sorry, I just got an email across the top of the screen. So my friend came over yesterday during the day, my other friend. Apparently I have a lot of friends. And uh, she came over and I was doing some cross stitch. And her, her name is Diana. Hello, Diana. And her and I <coughs> did a cross-stitch retreat. I think it was two years ago. And we had such a lot of fun. We only had, we rented an Airbnb. And I think we had six guests and her and I. I think that's what it was. was. And we did, um, I made little bags for everybody. Little, mm, I have one here somewhere. Oh, it's over there. <clears throat> it was a Halloween theme. Sheila Grant and Bobby are doing a program when they return to Brookside. Oh, I used to watch Brookside, but then when I moved to Canada, I couldn't get it here. So I kind of lost complete track of Brookside. And then my favorite episode of that one was the day the woman woke up with her husband dead beside her in bed. <laughs> that was like, oh, what would you do? <laughs> you know anyway um so i had made um these little things for everybody these little bags my little toby knits and i used to sell some of them in the shop for a while um and they're super cool right now they have my 
you do have a lot of friends, I know. Um, I have my um, thingies in them for quilting. But uh, I have another one, which is a Christmas theme one, which I used to put beside me when I was stitching and put all my floss bits in, you know, so you could, and sometimes I still do by accident. I'll put something in with all this. But the nice thing about these little bags that I made <clears throat> was they're totally reversible. I should make some more. They're really fun little bags. It's full of fluff right now. But yeah, you could just reverse it. And there you had another one. And I think... I'm not entirely sure, but I feel like, I feel like you could put a skein of yarn in that, like a ball, you know, like, um, I don't know, do I have one over there? Oh, here we go. So this is, um, this is about 35 grams, but yeah, it easy fits in. What do they call them? Yarn cozies? And then that way you could stick that if you were at a... I should make some more, shouldn't I? Uh, Catherine is here. Good morning, Anne. I'm delighted to catch you live. It's an name called Southwest Oklahoma. Oh, I know. Aren't they cute? And I made a whole pile of them. So everybody at the little retreat we were at got one of these. And my friend made some... Diana made um, floss drops. And we had floss drops. And then we had, um, why am I putting that back in there? I don't know. Um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And, and I didn't do it last year. We didn't do it the second year. We were going to do it an annual thing. And it was lovely. We we spent a whole weekend there. We all brought food um, and stuff. And it really was nice. Really was a nice thing. And uh I don't know why I didn't do it again the next year. It was a lot of work, but I, I felt like I would wanted more than just six people. Although six people was nice. Um, I thought it might have been fun to do a one day event. Anyway, we never did it again. So she was talking to me to yesterday when she came over. And she was telling me that some other ladies in her other cross-stitch group she goes to are um, thinking of doing one in November. So I said, oh, put me down. I want to go. Okay, now I'm, I, I, I have to count. <laughs> Just a minute. Where am I? 4434. 4434. Four, four. Okay, I have to do five. So who saw the eclipse? Anybody? I went over to my neighbors across the street, my other friend, <laughs> Lee's. I went over to her house. It's funny enough, she was out and I get a phone, Bob was at work and I get a phone call from her husband and he says, do you wanna come over? <laughs> oh yeah, you know her, MJ. I said, she said, do you wanna come over? I said, yes. So anyway, I went over and we had margaritas. And we watched the eclipse. And there was, she, my, then my friend Lise showed up because she got stuck in traffic. Apparently, the highway back into our town, into our village, was chock-a-block. It was like really, um, okay, you don't know what that means. Let me think. Um, bumper to bumper. Very busy. Very busy. That's what chock-a-block means. And uh, she, it, she, it, she was down to like 30 kilometers an hour. Oh, you had 80% coverage? MJ, I love margaritas. I've never had one. I'm not a very big drinker. I barely drink, to be perfectly honest with you. Oh, you had full coverage? Oh, nice. Well, I think we had 99.3%. To me, it felt like full. I couldn't see a thing after it. the moon went over it. Like, I couldn't even see, like, the ringy thing. Um... And I, but here's the thing. Um, I, I didn't find it got that dark. Like it got dark, 
But in my head, I was expecting pitch black, like nighttime pitch black when the sun goes down. Full of chock-a-block. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Full, yeah, chock-a-block, yeah. Um, and it's funny, eh? When you try to tell somebody a word that you're used to just saying from your thing... Okay, so Catherine said, whoa, Catherine said, I've lost her. She sat outside waiting for it to start while it was happening. The one in 2017 was of shorter duration, but was much more pronounced here. Yeah, like you have to put the little glasses on, right? And look up and, and actually, do you know what I found really strange? I think I've gone off topic a bit, haven't I? I was telling you something which I've now forgotten about. You might have to remind me in a minute. <clears throat> but the what struck me oh about going dark yeah I was expecting it to go really dark and it didn't it went dark as in looked like it was going to pour rain but you could still see sun on the other side of the road like the, you could see the blue skies but over here it went really dull dark like it and it went cold very cold very cold um and then of course it came back but what I found um, interesting was when you looked through, like when you look up at the sun and shield your eyes, you can see it, it's there, it's huge, it's, you know. But when I put those little um, glasses on, it's like this big. It's tiny. But that's good because it means it's far away. <laughs> and we're not going to burn up next week. <laughs> if it gets closer because you know that's gonna happen one day right it will get closer and we'll all burn up this is where i need kath here to tell me because she's my chemistry person she's my science buff she tells me everything uh yes in stoke we say lobby you call it stew scouse really that's very interesting. Yeah, we call it Scouse. My nan always used to make a pan of Scouse. When we moved away, I was 10 when we moved from Liverpool because we lived next door to my nan and my granddad. And when I was 10, we moved away <clears throat> and we went to live in Southampton, which seemed like the end of the earth to me. It was that far away from all my family. And, uh, it took such a long time to drive there. Of course, I laugh that now because I live in Canada. Like, that's nothing. We go to watch a concert that far away and come back the same day. <laughs> but anyway, um, <clears throat> we had um, moved to Southampton. And every time we went home, back up to Liverpool, we'd go two or three times a year to go visit my nan. Right now, what am I doing here? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I've done that one. Oh, so I need to do one, two, three, four, five more. Um, <clears throat> we'd go to visit my nan. And every time we'd go visit my nan, the first thing that was, it, we'd walk in the door and it, there'd be a pan of scouse on. And a coffee cake on the countertop. Yeah. Stew. It's a stew. Kind of got everything in it. I feel like it's lamb, but I don't think it was a beef stew. I feel like it was a lamb stew. But yeah, it's a stew. It was good. Nobody could make stew scouse like my nan could. I've tried, but I kind of get it right, but I don't eat red meat anymore, so I don't really have it that much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Getting my hair cut this afternoon. I'm very excited about that. When my hair gets long, which it is, in my opinion, it gets very curly and wavy. Look at this blinking wave here. 
I mean, come on. And there's one there. Look, I literally have two waves. They're like horns. Look at them. And I look like my mom, which is a nice thing. It's a lovely thing. Actually, I've got a picture of her over there. I should put it up in the room. I think it's over there. Might be downstairs still. <clears throat> oh, I'm talking to myself. Um, I'm actually going, I used to get it done in, in Campbell. I used to get it done out of hairdressers, but I found it was getting a bit expensive and hard to get in. So I just got a first choice now. <laughs> First choice haircut is in the mall. Bob goes off to Walmart. I go get my haircut. And the funny thing, there used to be a hairdressing salon in Kempfell called Scissors. Do you remember that, MJ? In the mall. It was in the mall by Johnson's, and um, which is a grocery store. And uh, I used to get my haircut there by this certain lady. Anyway, the other week, about a month, two months ago, because I have to get my hair cut quite often to keep it short, I went to um, First Choice because I couldn't get into my hairdressers. Oh, I don't like my curls at all. Isn't that funny when you have curls, you don't like them, and when your hair is straight, you want curls. Um, I find like they look make me look like an old lady. Well, especially now that it's going gray. Maybe that's why I think I look like my mom. <laughs> because my mom was, a, was an old lady. <laughs> oh, that's rotten. I love your mom. Don't listen to me. <laughs> um, so I went into first choice because I couldn't get into where I regularly get my hair cut. And uh, I said to this lady, can you cut my hair? She said, yeah, you know. So we start cutting my hair. And I keep looking at her. I'm like, why do I know you? You look so familiar to me. Anyway, it turned out it was the first hairdresser I ever had when I came to Kempo that worked in scissors. So there you go, small world. That's a big truck. Oh, interesting. So that's a big orange truck, tow truck. It was a tow truck. Did you hear it, by the way? And it was towing a CP rail car, train, truck. The ones that have wheels on. Well, and they also have rails. You know what I mean. Sardinia. Wow. Hello. I have never had anybody come on from there. What time is it for you? Nearly at the end of this color. I'm getting bored with this color now. So I am, yeah, <laughs> look at it, isn't it pretty? So I'm just going to go, so when I do the, when I do the, um, I don't know if any of you do this, I'm sure you do, all your cross stitches. When I'm finished, I just go underneath all my stitches and just take a couple of little bits up. And that's how I do it. What do I do with my scissors now? Oh, you should see my scissors, if I can actually find them. Oh, for crying out loud, where'd they go? Oh, there they are. <laughs> they are, look at them, they got this little hook. Isn't that cool? So I can hook that there and cut close. I have no idea where I got them, but they're lovely. Um, <clears throat> now I have nowhere to put that. I'll put it there. On my arm of my chair, which is normally where I stitch in the living room when I'm watching telly, um, there's a, uh, I have this thing. I went to a quilt retreat last year. I'm going again this year. Gosh, when is that? September? Blimey, I better find out. Um, 
one of the I won a door prize, and one of the door prizes was this thing that you fold over the arm of your chair, and one side is to catch all your rubbishy bits, so your you know bits of floss or yarn, whatever you're doing, and the there's two pockets in the front, and they um, I put my scissors in one, and then all my um, knitting gauges and crochet hook rescue things and darning needle all in that pocket so when I'm in here I have nowhere to put them right now so um Australia Helen's here oh hi dear how are you I'm working on my picking puppies look at him I feel like I need to do some more of that nose the nose needs to be filled in all right what color where am I going with the nose? What's the star? I bet you the star is 10 different colors. Maybe I should do the white. No, that's boring. I'll do white at the end. Okay, so I need the other one. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, by the way. You can do it right now while you're talking to me. It helps some algorithm thing. I have no idea. star is gray it's two grays shall i do the star or shall i do the heart what is the best way to jump off 514 what is that one the star 51351 okay let's do where's 514 514 is this color so i think that's the heart Shall I do the heart? No, I don't think I should do the heart. I'll do the star. I'll do the star. It'll be easier. So I need a 514. This is so cool. Watch this. So I've got my 514. So I'm just going to take... I did have my 514. I shall now retrace my steps. 514. I'm going to take a piece. I'm going to pull it. And then, is that not ever cool? We had a border collie named Holly for 18 years. Cross stitch reminded me of her. So I know, eh? Um, she is a Brittany Springer Spaniel, Sean's dog. And the uh, it's the image of her. And the other one was, I always thought it was a coon hound, but they, they said it was something else. I wish I could find a picture for you. Well, because uh, you're on my phone. Uh, yes, I use one thread. Sorry, I'll show you that again. I use one thread, so I pulled one thread out and because these are long. And then I bring them together so that I've got the two ends there. So by doing that, I've now made it. Oh, uh, thank you. I've now made it um, two. So I thread this end through the needle. Hello, who's calling the golden shot? Sorry, Bob's phone was ringing. I don't know if you can hear that, but. <laughs> um, so now I've got two strands. So then what I do is when I go in, When I go in to make my first half of the cross stitch, I'll flip it over. When I come up, I go into the, this is called the loop method. I go into the thing there and pull. And now that secured the thread and not given me a knot on the back of my work and now i'm stitching with two strands which is typically what you stitch with with cross stitch you normally stitch with two strands out of the six that comes in the colored thread and then off you go <clears throat> and i missed what you said there so i have to go back and see 
Thank you, Catherine, for the like. Mandy said her little dash on Ronnie had to be posted. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Mm, I hate that. That's so sad. That's so sad. Well, that's going to be upsetting now. There's nothing worse. Okay, I should have gone up there, shouldn't I? Where? Oh, I should have started up there. I'll do this bit first. There's more of them little stars than I thought that were cheeky little things. Cheeky little things. There's more than I thought. Okay, well, we'll just do this bit first. Um, <clears throat> yeah, there's nothing worse than losing a dog. I remember we had a... Um, some of you might remember him. I had a little dog called Alfie. Why can't that go in that hole? Go. Um, oh, bye, Alice. His back went, but his brother, Reggie, keeps looking. Oh, oh you have two? Mm. Um, I bet. That's sad. They don't understand at all, do they? Um, we had a... Uh, A dog, it was a um, toy poodle. He was just a tiny little thing. And his name was uh, Alfie. And I had him for 10 and a half. No, I didn't. I had him for 15 and a half years. At 10 years old, we had to have all his teeth taken out. And we thought we were gonna lose him then, but he lived for another five and a half years. And uh, he um, was a lovely dog. Anyway. He passed away not long after we moved into this house. He was also deaf at that point and blind. <laughs> so um, it was time anyway. And I swore I would never get another dog. Nope, not getting another dog. And we went a whole year without another dog because I think we cried the whole weekend after we had to put him down. Um, we were all, every one of us was so upset. The boys were upset. Oh, it was awful. And... Um, Anyway, we had him, we waited a year and then I needed another dog because Bob works shift work. He's not always here. I'm alone a lot and I needed company and it, it helped me get out walking because otherwise I'm the laziest person in the world. <laughs> I hate exercise. I'll just sit and couch all day, <laughs> especially now I'm retired. What else am I going to do? So <laughs> I hate exercise. I bought a step thing. I've never used it to step her. I thought, well, that, you know, you can do that from inside the house. I'm just useless at exercise. I really am. So, but the dog at least, having a dog makes me get out and walk. So, which is good, a good thing, you know. So we got Toby. And that's why my channel's called Toby Knits. Toby actually doesn't knit. My father seems to think he does, but he doesn't. He just sits with me when I knit. He's not in here right now, though, of course, because I won't let him. What has happened to my chat? I hope you're all still there. Oh, there we go. Oh, you're off to the your local yarn shore store. Nice. Oh, go away. There they are. Sorry, my finger's up here because I keep on. I keep on uh, trying to find the, the live chat. Um, yeah, so that's why we got Toby. Hmm. What time is it? How long have I been on? 48 minutes. Okay, 10 more minutes, girls. Oh, I haven't even finished drinking my breakfast. I made myself a smoothie today. I've been on a smoothie kick. Yeah, tell us what you get got when you get there. Because uh, we want to know. We want to know. Um... I forgot what I was going to say then. Oh, yeah. I've been eating smoothies the last three mornings because I was having some issues with my acid reflux with toast. I was eating a lot of bread. 
and it was bothering me. So uh, I tried to think, what could I have for breakfast that doesn't involve bread? Oh, are you going? I think I might go. Oh, maybe I'll go today after I get my hair cut. Because I think I need some needles. I always need needles. So I had this issue yesterday. I don't know if any of you watch me while I'm knitting or on my knitting channel, but what's well, the same channel? Why am I saying that? I, um, I'm making the Helen Stewart 24 bird MCAL. Ew, MJ, that can't be good for breakfast leftover egg rolls. What's wrong with you? Well, I just made a smoothie. So I have oat milk. <clears throat> um, Lactose-free yogurt, Greek yogurt. Uh, blueberries, frozen blueberries, chia seeds to help my nails. Uh, two dates, dates. No, it's no. Two dates. Um, what else did I put in it? Something sweet. Syrup, maple syrup. Bit of water. And blended it up, and it's really good. Mm. And a banana. I always put bananas in. Two miles a day. No, I just take Toby to the top of the road and back. <laughs> Poor Toby. Um, but we are hoping this summer to do some more, some actual get out and exercise stuff. Because we sold, we're going to sell our trailer that we have, a little 19-foot travel trailer. We're going to sell that this year. And because we just don't use it as much as we should. We're not really, what are egg rolls? <laughs> We're not really into, uh, you can explain that one, MJ. <clears throat> we don't seem to get a lot of camping done. So the plan is to, um, we bought electric bikes <clears throat> and uh, we are going to go on trails and stuff, touring trails with our bikes. That's the plan, to get some exercise. And I even bought a basket to put Toby in. Don't tell anybody that. <laughs> Poor Toby, I have no idea if he'll stay in it. But I gotta take him with me too. One, two, three. I hope he doesn't jump out. I do have a thing that I can lock him in with. Who knows? Oh yeah, so I had this issue with my 24 bird. So currently it has 583 stitches or something like that on this circular needle. And I have Addy Clicks that my dad bought me for my 60th birthday. They're lovely. They came in a little package. And there's lots of them. They're pretty. They're nice. Some of them I've never used. Because you can tell because they still have the words on them. The others that I've used quite a bit. You can't see the words anymore. They've rubbed off. So that kind of makes it interesting. Luckily, I do put them back where they came from. Um, and... But the issue I was having with them was they were undoing. So I would tape them, which is not the best thing because then it catches on the yarn and it's annoying. So I bought new strings thinking maybe that was what it was. So I 
because I was on 500 stitches, I had to put the connector in to make my 32 inch or whatever it was longer so I could add this next cord. So I did that and I'm knitting away. And the next thing you know, all my stitches are coming undone halfway around my round. The connector came apart. So I swore profusely, threw it down, had to go find another, another needle that I could use to rescue what I just lost. And because the pattern, the way the pattern is, there's tons of yarn over eyelet holes and a lot of uh, S2K, S2KPs. I have no idea if I'm gonna be able to rescue this. There's at least 80 stitches, I feel like, that have just, I don't even know how far down they've gone. Because when you're trying to pick it up, I know, it was horrible, it was horrible. So I did get this lovely set of needles when I was in Nova Scotia at Value Village. Now they're Japanese. <clears throat> but look, let me get this out. All the DPNs you wanna ever have in your life. And they're two different sizes. Like these are this size, which are quite long. I think they're eight, nine inches. I, I do prefer shorter DPNs. Good idea. I think that's what, that might be what I have to do. Egg rolls are Chinese. <laughs> yeah, they're not eggs at all. And then this is the same size, but really long. So these are super uh, nice needles, but they also have circulars. And I found what I think is the size. So it's a fixed which is what I think I prefer over interchangeables at the moment, because I'm still mad. But I think it's only a 32. When you measure, uh, and it says 32 inch, are we measuring from here to here is 32, or the cord length is 32? But anyway, I feel like this is 32 and I need a 40. That's why I fused in it with, I know. I, that, yeah, um, Mandy just said that. I think that's what I'm going to try and do because I think I can go back to where I just added all the extra stitches. I feel like that's what I'm going to do. I'll put a lifeline in the whole thing. It's going to take me ages. When they are fixed. Oh, okay, so when they're fixed from end to end. Okay, so this is only 32 then from end to end. So I don't have, uh, I need a 40 inch because it's 500 odd stitches. So that's, which is a shame because these look like they're nice stitch needles. And uh, I mean, 32 is not a bad. I wonder if I could still get them all on on the 32. Probably not. Probably not. It even has in here crochet hooks that are double-ended. Check that out. That's so cool. Anyway, I love this. This is such an awesome buy. And I got it for $9. Mm, I did. $9. Yeah, I think they're all 32 inch by the look of it. But that's still good. I can still use that. So, yeah, I feel like I'm gonna have to go to Yarns of Plenty and get myself some 40 inch, four millimeter. That's what I'm looking for, four millimeter. Because of course I've got 3.25, 3.5, but no four. So I might have to go there and get that today and then put a lifeline in I think that's a really good idea but I need to have the right headspace for it um, because it's gonna take me ages yeah so annoyed I was so annoyed thank god I went to Nick Club last night though because that was the only thing that kept me sane 
I was getting even mad at Bob. Poor Bob didn't do anything. But I got mad at him. <laughs> so I left, went to Nate Club, took my Muscleboro hat with me, which I've just cast on. And that was lovely. And I felt better when I got back. And then we watched the last episode of American Nightmare. I think that's what it's called on Netflix. Oh, I'm going to go too, MJ. It was lovely that you came on and chatted. And I'll see you later in the week, probably. Um, yeah, it was called American Nightmare, I think. It was good. It was really good. So we watched that. And uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Anyway, I, um, I'm going to go because we've been on an hour and I don't like to keep it much more than that because we all have busy stuff. You're all busy. You have things to do. And, uh, yeah, but I will tell you though, for those cross stitches amongst us, did any of you order the Bothy Threads cross stitch box yet. It's brand new. And uh, it's the first one they're doing. So of course I had to get it because I love Bothy Threads. And um, yeah, so it's, I think they're shipping out in the middle of May, I think. Um, but it's this box and it's got a cross stitch pattern in it, a bunch of other stuff. So I was very excited. I ordered one. And then, of course, I also ordered the Bothy Advent Calendar. Ooh. So, that'll be exciting. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I am going to go and find out what we're doing for the rest of the day. Bob is off the whole weekend. And I, oh, I'm going to a play on Sunday with Tristan. I feel like it's a little mermaid. I think so. <clears throat> it's a musical. And uh, so I'll tell you all about that next week. Okay, I'm going to go. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you're watching the replay, drop me a note below and give me a thumbs up. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.